So there's a really common trap that people get into when they learn how to program. It is so important to avoid this. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Matt, a software engineer in San Francisco, and my goal is to make your coding journey into the tech industry as painless as possible. Make sure to like this video, it really helps the algorithm, and also subscribe below for a ton of more content that will help you in your journey into the tech industry. Make sure to watch through until the end. I'm going to break down step-by-step step how to avoid this trap and also the exact steps you need to getting your first software engineering job. Let me tell you a quick story about when I started to learn. When I started to learn, I knew I wanted to focus on web development and becoming a full stack web developer of some sort. I thought my best shot to get into the industry would be to focus on front end web development first. I spent a lot of time focusing on the JavaScript fundamentals, but then before I went to a coding bootcamp, I ended up having a little bit of extra time to learn something that I thought was valuable. I ended up choosing a mobile JavaScript framework and spent a few weeks learning that, which ended up not even being used in the industry anymore and was a total mess. I basically wasted three weeks of my life attempting to learn mobile apps, which I thought was cool. It ended up not helping me out in the long run and I went down a total rabbit hole and wasted a bunch of time. I could have used that three weeks a lot better in just focusing on JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and getting really good at those things. And back then, if I was to dabble with a framework, it definitely should have been React. Okay, so what's the big mistake? It is trying to learn too many things at once, and this is so common for anyone starting out. The main reason for this is that there is so much out there to learn, and especially if you're learning and you don't have a solid curriculum that you're following, you're going to get really off track. You might not know what's important to learn, what's not important to learn, and there's so much out there, so many different opinions on the internet, that you might waste a lot of time learning something that isn't even applicable to the jobs that you're applying to. So the main way to get around this is to stay really, really focused on your actual goal. Now, if your ultimate goal is something like getting a job, you need to figure out from the day you get the job, work backwards to today and reverse engineer exactly what you need to do to get that job. Basically, what it comes down to is learning one thing and sticking religiously to it. Now, this is not to say only learn one technology. It's to say, learn the bucket of technologies that you need to get the job that you want. So if you know that you want a front-end React developer position, then you need to work backwards from how do I get that position. Basically, it comes down to having the fundamentals of JavaScript, also learning HTML and CSS, and then learning React, which that's built on top of. Now, if you learn something like a framework, it's really important to have the fundamentals of the underlying language down. This is the way you'll be able to figure out bugs and different issues in your code, and just knowing a framework isn't going to be enough to get you by in this industry. If you want something like a backend developer role, it's really important to just focus on one thing, and that's also going to be a language and a framework. Now, there are a ton of different languages to use, but basically just pick a language, pick a framework, and pick a database or two to get really familiar with. So one strategy to avoid this in the beginning is, first of all, do not switch to a ton of different languages. Do not switch to Python in the middle of learning JavaScript. Don't switch to Ruby, just focus on JavaScript. If you want to play around with backend technologies, just use Node. There's no reason when you're learning to be playing around with Python unless you have a different goal of getting a different kind of job. But the thing is, if you are spreading your time very thin, you're not going to get good at one subset of technologies. And it's going to be much harder to land a job if you're not good at that. If you're switching around between Python, Ruby, JavaScript, it's going to be a huge time waster when you could have focused on exactly what you need to get a job. You might be surprised to know that getting your first job does not require a ton of technologies. Usually on these job boards, they'll list out a huge list of technologies, which is the ideal candidate, which doesn't even exist. If you can really nail the core fundamentals of what you've been focusing on and also show that you have an aptitude to learn, you can definitely get your first job in this industry. So if you want your first job in the industry and you're not going the route of a college student, it's probably straightforward to just focus on front-end web development. This basically means learn the fundamentals of JavaScript. Learn all the different methods that you'd use on a daily basis. Learn some algorithms, data structures. Also, learn some HTML and CSS to build basic web pages. And then learn a framework of your choosing. React is super popular right now. Tons of companies are hiring for it. So I'd recommend going with that one. 
You can also go with Angular and Vue, but I think React is here to stay. Now, once you've done this, build at least one to two full stack projects. This means you'll have to learn a little bit of Node in the back end, learn how endpoints work, learn also one database technology, and figure out how to make calls to it, and also to receive data from it. With this, having at least a few full stack apps under your belt will be enough to get a portfolio to get a job. Basically, once you have these done, just focus on studying data structures and algorithm problems using JavaScript. Now it's tempting if you buy a book like Cracking the Coding Interview that the problems are built in Java, but there are plenty of other resources online that go through very similar problems using just the JavaScript language. A side note here is to not skip over the JavaScript fundamentals. Now, the best way to avoid skipping over this, especially if you don't know what to learn, is to just pick a curriculum and stick with it. I say this a lot on my channel, but some great curriculums out there are Free Code Camp and the Odin Project. They basically break everything down step by step, they have a ton of information on what you should be studying, and they walk you through how to do this. They'll basically walk you through all the way to the end of building full stack apps and also walk you through some data structures and algorithm questions that are really important during the interviews. This is the main focus from start to finish that you should be pouring 100% of your time into. It is so tempting to learn much more than this, but if you truly want a developer job, the quickest way is to stay as focused as possible. This can apply to so many more things in life as well. It's not just coding, but if you really want to learn something, you need to figure out exactly what you need to learn it and just stay focused. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm and also subscribe for more. Check out my other video on how to become a software developer the fastest, and also check out my coding bootcamp playlist, which has a ton of information if you wanna go the coding bootcamp route to get your first job in tech. Let me know down below what other videos you want to see.